Hello everyone, Christopher Beast here, and I'm back for yet another Vigor Secrets and More video. And in today's video, we uh, have a brand new theory. Uh, this one is called the Who is Sutra Theory. The goal of this theory will be to explain the new location name change that hit Felcanton. The Cold of the Mountain God location has had its name change to Cold of Sutra. With this name change burns about a ton of potential lore and ideas that we could suggest. So, to start off, Who is Sutra? Sutra is a, J a Jotun, or an enemy of the gods, within Norse mythology. They are powerful beings, and they w um, are destined to fight the Asir or the Vanir, which are the better gods within Norse mythology. Sutra is also a being who has existed since the start of the universe, and is very much fated to exist until the very end during Ragnarok. During Ragnarok, he will battle and slay Feyr, who is the rep and he is also regarded as the reputation of volcanoes, fire, and destruction. So to explain that, Ragnarok in um, Norse mythology is the end of all things. Um, it is also the beginning of all things, uh, within theory. It is when the gods of old will fight each other in a final battle, and everyone, everything will pretty much die. Um, Feyr is the representation of uh, good and happiness and peace, and he is destined to fight him. So what does this mean in regards to Vigor? Well, him being one of the burners of Ragnarok could represent just how late in Ragnarok the world will eventually be enveloped in threat flames. The world invader is enveloped in nuclear flames. This could also be taken to mean that he is a representation of volcanoes and that Felcanton is a dormant volcano that may one day awaken. Okay, so that was some more surface level things. I'm going to go for one complicated idea. Sutra is also stated to be the strongest in the Nine Realms and that his victory is inevitable. Which means he could eventually even that means that means that eventually even Norway will fall. Now a counter to that is the aftermath of Ragnarok, where the survivors of Ragnarok rebuild the world from the ashes of Sutra. This suggests that maybe Sutra's reign is over and that Norway is the start of a pushback against the destruction of humanity. Now, for some more outlandish ideas. Before I get them, everything I stated before is what I believe the people in the cult believe. And I believe that the everything I state after is, is the same level of that. Uh, I don't actually believe that is physically happening, and I don't believe we see a physical sutra shooting fire down on the planet, as it's way too out there to be taken practically. But I do believe the people within the cult honestly do practice that idea and throw that one of these ideas around. So first things first. There's some random scrolls on some maps. Uh, when I looked into deer scrolls in Norse mythology, I found two ways. First, Sutra's enemy failure once used an antler to kill Jotun. The second idea is that this is a hint to Epnar, which is the source of all water. That can be expanded on because the where these scrolls are founded on are Gromtheim and the home base, and the, both of those locations have a large amount of water within them. The final idea I have is that the nuclear started between believers and non-believers of Sutra, or believers and non-believers in Norse mythology. So I think that covers everything, and to quickly run through all of it, just real quick to double back on it, um, uh, there's a ton of ideas that I believe this cult believes in, everything from Sutra burning in nuclear flames, uh, Velkenton being a volcano, and that Sutra either is there rebuilding after Sutra, or they're trying to get Sutra to take over Norway. Um, and there's also some more ideas that I just proposed, with maybe these believers are destroying, uh, we're starting this whole nuclear war, and maybe Sutra's enemy fair has something to do with these deer scrolls. Hopefully that covered everything, and I hope you did enjoy. This has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.